Oke, oke. Tadi Beko nanya kan, yang ini 200 ini kan 196. Halo, ini Badi, Om. Iya Pak. Nah, 200 ribu itu kita kan nggak beli nggak beli survei. 196 kita beli survei harganya 4 ribu kan. Jadi di sini tanpa membeli survei, ini sudah membeli survei. Makanya dia menjadi minus 4.000. Tidak ada demand pun. Oke. Kondak survei, satu. Jadi harus kondak survei karena apa? Hasilnya setelah dihitung, uh, yang pertama ini ya. Yang ini dihitung, maka jumlah dengan tanpa survei adalah Uh, no survei adalah 86 dengan survei menghasilkan 141 dengan survei yang jelek menghasilkan 16 tapi ini ditambah ini jadi 87 jadi yang dipilih adalah mana ini dengan ini mana yang terbesar yang terbesar tentunya yang not 10 ini kan yaitu kontak survei No surveinya 86, kontak survei 87. Oke. Okay. Jadi, kontak survei, jika survei menghasilkan positif, maka kita akan menghasilkan sekian, tapi jika negatif, akan menghasilkan EMV sebesar 16. Nah, eh, untuk sampel Expected value of sample information. Maka Thomson Lumber uh, survey pro, uh, provide uh, sample information. Ya, itu bisa dicoba dulu. EMV with free sample information dan dikurangin EMV without any information. EMV dari tanpa informasi sekian 87 ditambah 4090 ini jadi evaluate eh, apa F, uh, I, IS, IV, SA nya jadinya 91 dikurangin 86 menjadi 5000 nah value of information kan kita belinya 4000 dia berharga 5000 sekian jadi patut dibeli berapa efisiensinya ditinggal dihitung 59 dibagi 24 sekian Yang lainnya biasa saja ya. Kemudian ada teknik uh, lain yang menggunakan Bayesian Analysis. Di mana kita menggunakan peluang, ini tidak akan saya berikan dulu. Karena statistik Anda juga kurang peluangnya. Jadi peluang ini, ini ada, ada. mungkin SMP, SMA waktu itu dapat ya. Nah. Tapi kalau di sejarah ini kan bahwa Outcome-nya 5, outcome 1, 5, ini 5, ya 0,5 kali ini ditambah 0,5 kali 50, jadi 25. Hitung-hitung sederhana aja. Oke, okay. yang terakhir adalah gene utility curve. Yaitu orang itu, itu apakah dia suka resiko atau tidak. Nah, ini... Risk indifferent, risk seeker, risk avoider. Risk seeker itu lebih ke arah monetary outcome, kalau risk avoider ke arah utility, dan risk indifferent itu yang ngambil tengah-tengahnya. Ini Anda bisa baca sendiri, saya kira nggak terlalu banyak ini ya. Oke. Okay. Tergantung dia risk, eh, eh, apakah dia orang yang suka mengambil risiko, Biasanya orang mengambil, mengambil resiko melihat keuntungan gede, sikat langsung, ayo invest di situ. Padahal resikonya juga besar juga. Semakin besar keuntungan, semakin besar resiko. Itu yang perlu dipertimbangkan. Oke, okay. cukup sampai sekian saja ininya, presentationnya. Uh, ada pertanyaan atau lain-lain? Ini saya belum mengaktifkan ini ya. Absen ya, untuk absen. Eh, 
Ayo silakan ada ada pertanyaan. Pak ini materinya di share nggak Pak? Ya nanti nanti di share semua. Oh di learning ada ada. Oh, Oke okay. kasih Pak. Di learning ada materinya cuma videonya yang belum karena videonya nanti saya kasih linknya aja kalau di eh, ini uh, di learning nanti terlalu berat videonya yang besar besar. In this section, we are going to study how we are going to use tree plan to draw a decision tree in Excel. In this example, the owner of the company, Steve Hinton, is thinking about whether to apply for a $85,000 research grant for using wireless technology to enhance safety in the coal industry. Steve would spend approximately $5,000 preparing the grant proposal and estimates a 50-50 chance of receiving the grant. If Steve got a grant, he would need to decide whether to use microwave, cellular, or infrared technology. Depending on what kind of technology is chosen, the equipment cost is given in this table. For example, if Steve chose to use cellular technology, then the equipment cost is $5,000. Next, depending on whether Steve is lucky or not, research and development cost might be high or low. And the table you see over here summarizes the information. In the best scenario, suppose microwave technology is chosen then the R&D cost would be $30,000 and the probability of that is 40%. There is a 60% chance the R&D cost would be $60,000, which is the worst scenario. All right, next let's see how we are going to use tree plan to help Steve make a good decision. All right, let's start with a brand new spreadsheet. Uh, to start the tree plan, we have to activate tree plan first, which is upload control T. You see a pop up window. Okay, we're gonna draw a new tree. Click new tree. And uh, by default, a tree starts with a decision, decision node. And this decision node has two arcs decision 1 and decision 2. In the case of Comtech, Steve has to decide whether he's going to apply for the research grant or not. So let's do this. Okay. Apply for grant. Keep in mind, there's, there's $5,000 cost for preparing the research proposal. Okay, negative 5000 entered over here. And the other option for Steve is, okay, do not apply. In this case, nothing's going to be happening. No gain, no loss. Okay, so that's the end of story over here. So the complicated part is if Steve applies for the grant. So we're going to move on to the next stage of the decision tree. In stage two, it is going to be an event because that is something Steve cannot control. It's up to OSHA to decide who's going to get the grant. Okay, so once again, we're going to click Control T and we're going to change the terminal node to what? Event node. And this event node has two branches. Let's click OK. Here we go. So events are winning the grant or not. So let's name the event. Okay. The probability that Steve is going to win the grant is 50%. So that's the default value. So there's nothing we need to do. Keep in mind, 
the research grant is worth $85,000. So we are going to enter $85,000 over here. And uh, if Steve does not win the grant, then that's the end of the story. As a result, Steve will lose $5,000. Okay, let's go to the case in which Steve does win the grant. Next, it's up to Steve to make decisions once again. This time, the decisions are about what technology to choose. Steve has three options. So let's use Control T once again. So we're going to change that to Decision Node. This Decision Node has three branches or three options for Steve. Okay, let's choose three. Click OK. The first technology is microwave. If microwave technology is chosen, the equipment cost would be four thousand dollars. Okay, negative four thousand over here. Next is cellular technology the associated equipment cost is five thousand okay. dollars the last one is infrared tech its equipment cost is four thousand dollars here we go this is the third stage of this decision tree now let's look at each of the three technologies. If microwave technology is chosen, then there's 40% chance the R&D cost would be $30,000. And there's 60% chance the R&D cost would be $60,000. So that is an event which is out of Steve's control. Let's do that. Control T, change that to event node, which has two branches. Click OK. So let's call event A best case and event 9 worst case. Now we have to change the associated probabilities. The probability of best case over here is 0.4. Accordingly, the probability of worst case is 0.6. Alright, if best case occurs, the R&D cost would be $30,000. Okay, and if worst case takes place, the R&D cost is going to be sixty thousand dollars. Okay, so we're done with the microwave technology. And next, I'm gonna teach you a trick. It's copy and paste tree. Okay. For example, in our case, uh, it doesn't matter which technology Steve chose. He always has event with two possible outcomes best case and worst case. So we are going to copy the subtree over here. And to do that, let's highlight the uh, cell which contains the event node over here. Control T. Choose the second option, copy subtree. Then click OK. And then let's select the cell in which we are going to paste the event. Control T, okay, paste subtree. Here we go. Okay, so once again, under cellular technology, we have best case and worst case, but keep in mind, we have to update the information regarding probabilities and uh, costs. In this case, if cellular technology is chosen, there's 80% chance Steve is going to be in best case scenario. And 
and in that case, the R&D cost would be forty thousand dollars. So let's change that accordingly, and the probability of worst case will be point two, and the R&D cost would be seventy thousand dollars. Okay, and we are gonna do the copy paste thing once again. Control T, copy sub tree. Okay, and select the cell in which we are going to paste the sub tree. Control T, paste sub tree. Click OK. All right. Once again, we're going to update probability and the cost information. This time, the probability of best case is 0.9. The probability of worst case under infrared technology is 0.1, and the associated R&D cost is eighty thousand dollars. Here we go, and uh, that's the tree. And tree plan has done the calculation for us automatically. As we go back to the very beginning of the tree, here's what we're going to see. Okay, so the EMV associated with microwave technology is twenty-eight thousand dollars. EV of cellular tech is twenty-nine thousand dollars, and EV of infrared technology is thirty-two thousand dollars. As a result, if Steve has won the research grant. He's going to pick infrared technology, which is our option three over here, and the resulting EV is thirty-two thousand dollars. And then when we go back to stage two of the tree, we see event fifty percent chance. Steve got thirty-two thousand dollars, and fifty percent chance he loses five thousand dollars. So to calculate EV, it's going to be 0.5 times 32,000 plus 0.5 times negative 5,000, and the resulting EV is $13,500. And at the very beginning, compare the two options: applying for research grant or not. Apparently, uh, go for it is the better decision for Steve. So. Decision one in this case is applying for grant. As a result, the expected value of this decision would be thirteen thousand and five hundred dollars for Steve. 